Hi everybody, uh, my apologies, I'm losing my voice, but I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about how you can review articles to quickly determine if they are going to be useful for what your study, um, what your study is about and how you can look at these to help develop your problem space. So while you will always need to go back and read all of the articles, when you're first going through and starting your research, a quick way to scan an article and determine whether or not it's worth reading in depth is to start first of all by looking at the abstract. So you've gone to the library, you've searched your particular variables or your topics of interest, and you've come up with an article that by the title seems like it could be interesting and would make sense to read, um, but you don't want to spend a lot of time reading something to find out that it's not useful or it doesn't line up, align with your study. So the first thing that you want to do is go through the abstract. So read the purpose of the paper, look at the design and methodology, read their summary of the findings, and then where they list any limitations or implications, this is where they're going to flag any future work. Okay, future research should be done in, and this might give you some sense for whether this article is pointing to a problem space that you're thinking about and could be useful to help develop that um, or if it's just simply around topics that you're interested in that would make sense to include in your review of literature. Okay, if you've gone through these, the abstract, and you're still intrigued and you think it still fits with your study, scroll down toward the end of the pa paper and read through the discussion. So the discussion will kind of summarize the findings, what they learned in their data collection or in their interviews, uh, what the study has shown, the contributions it makes to literature. So this is the meat of the paper that you want to look through and see if it still makes sense for your study. The other thing that you want to look at is the implication for practice and then implications for future research, excuse me. And you can see where I've highlighted a couple of things that stood out to me as I was working through this article for my study, which was on work engagement um, and virtual versus non-virtual workers. Okay, so that's a quick way to rule out whether an article makes sense to keep and to give you a sense for whether this article is useful for your review of literature and or useful for your problem space or where you want to dig in a little bit deeper. Now, that's not the end of what you do with this article. Obviously, if you're going to keep it, you need to go back and read it in depth so you understand a little bit better. But there's two things that I would do as well uh, in addition to reviewing, doing that quick review. First of all, just quickly go through the references. You may find some uh, seminal sources that they referenced here that you might want to go and look up. They might reference something um, fairly recent that might be another article that you can go and look at. Um, clearly, they're always going to reference um, articles that were published before them, so it might not fit into your three to five year timeline. But it's worth taking a look at to see if there's anything here that might be worth pulling up. Now, the other thing that you want to do is go to the database Web of Science. And when you go into Web of Science, I can't show you because I don't have access anymore as alumni, but plug in the title of this article and it will tell you uh, how many articles have cited this one. So work that's been done since this article was written. And you can go and look at each of those articles and determine if uh, those will fit for your literature literature review or if they help you build out your problem space as well. So that's just a quick tip on how to go through articles and how to look at them to help you build up your article database, for lack of a better word, for building out your justification and rationale for your study as well as for your review of literature. So I hope this is helpful. hope you guys have a great day and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.